Maybe the biggest hurdle in this case, Jessica's own dying words. Eric or Derek? Some people suggest that maybe she didn't say Eric. Maybe she said wreck. Remember, Jessica is burned beyond belief. She is disoriented. She's in intense pain. She's able to speak, but not like you and I are speaking. Maybe she did say wreck. It's a pretty diverse place. It's probably equal parts black and white. And she was somebody that knew everybody in Cortland. She was much loved by people across the board, whether they were black or white, whether they were young or old. We interviewed the Erickson Derricks. They were all cooperative. If they gave us an alibi, investigators were sent out to verify that alibi, and nothing ever came out of that. It didn't lead us anywhere. It was just one problem. It seemed everyone they lined up was black. Some of these guys actually ended up going on local media and saying that they were being racially profiled. We never found an Eric or Derek that she had ever talked to. There was a number in her cell phone that she had not saved under any name at this point. They had been in contact for about a week and they noticed that the text had started to turn to a sexual nature. This person had texted Jessica that he was horny and uh, she just, she kind of blew it off. I think she responded, oh lordy. That's the same number that Jessica called at 529 the night in question from the m and gas station. When they tracked down that number, it belonged to Quentin Tellis. Why would Quentin omit these important details? This makes him very, very suspicious. police get a Crime Stopper tip from a man who says he has a friend who has admitted to him that he killed Mandy, tortured her for her PIN number, and then took the debit card so he could get money. These details have never been released publicly before, uh, so how would he know them? And he finally revealed that he learned the information from Quentin Tellis. You cannot overlook the fact that Quentin Tellis has been the prime suspect in two torturous murders of two different women in two different states, and he has not been found guilty of either. Will it ever happen? Time will tell. I hope Mandy gets justice, and I hope Jessica gets justice. I said, baby girl, who done this to you?